once again, for the first time since 1939, the world's most fashionable race course is like a glorious garden, the spectators like guests at a garden party. And the June sunshine blazes down lavishly to make this first non-austerity Ascot a crowning social success. After the long years of sombre drabness, the lady emerges into the sunlight like a golden butterfly spreading her wings to the summer sun. Immortal Ascot, a world of gaiety and good manners. Royal Ascot, as the King and Queen and then Princess Elizabeth sweep through the famous Golden Gates in open landors drawn by the famous Windsor Greys. To the cheers of thousands of loyal subjects, the royal procession makes its way up the course to the royal enclosure. Many have come to watch the racing, but most have come to see and be seen. And no wonder with hats of all kinds on parade, the world and his wife in a sparkling battle of fashion, a veritable sea of colour. their vantage point in the royal box, the Queen and Princesses watch the animated pageant before them as the time draws near for the longest race of the day. All set for the Ascot Stakes, 23 starters, everyone fit and most of them fancy. And there they go, off to a grand start with Valsand, Sapper, Night Fighter and Fairground showing up early. First time round, it's Garter Club out clear from Smithereens and Good Afternoon. And that's the order for the next mile as Royal Eyes watch the race with interest. Six furlongs to go and Roman Magic, Raynard Bollard, My Thome and Piping Time are all nicely placed. Now into the straight and here's where Eve Smith makes his effort and Raynard Bollard shoots past Roman Magic. And here it's good afternoon to good afternoon, who stumbles and falls. The field sweeps on, my firm and piping time challenging for places. But they make no impression on Raynard Volant, who wins by three lengths to repeat last year's victory. And that's no mean feat either for a top weight. Mm -hmm. 